Kodak Black won't survive being locked up in prison. Here's why. I've been in and out since a baby. Really? Yeah. How old were you the first time? 14. Florida rapper Kodak Black has been making headlines again after he was just sentenced to 46 months in prison for previous federal weapon charges. Although he's no stranger to spending time incarcerated, the 22-year-old won't be able to make it past his sentence. Things are not looking so good for Kodak after being found guilty for multiple state and federal charges, but this isn't even the worst of his legal troubles. Be sure to stay tuned until the end of the video to get the full details on Kodak's sticky situation. Don't forget to leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and comment the keywords free Kodak below to get a chance at winning our $100 Amazon gift card giveaway. Now let's get started. Kodak's case did not go as smoothly as his lawyers had planned. His court date was just on November 13th, and we were all sad to hear that the talented rapper will be spending another 46 months behind bars. He has been arrested numerous times throughout the last few years, but this sentencing will be different for the rapper. Despite his serious attempts at turning his life around, it seemed like all odds were against him. We hope that he can make it past his sentence, but his track record of previous criminal history suggests that his actions will be repeated again. His repeated actions will either seriously affect his safety and livelihood or keep him incarcerated for the rest of his life. Just weeks before his last court date, on October 30th, the rapper was involved in a prison brawl. While Kodak was fighting another inmate in his holding cell, a guard came up to the two prisoners in an effort to break up the fight. This resulted in Kodak kicking the prison guard in the groin and leaving him hospitalized. This scuffle was brought up during his trial on the 13th of November, and prosecutors were trying to suggest that the rapper should serve a 96-month sentence instead of the 46-month sentence he was given. Kodak has been arrested more than twice a year for at least the last three years now. We're saddened to see him continuously make these repeated mistakes that are seriously starting to hurt him. Just this summer while spending time incarcerated, the rapper wrote, Yup, sometimes I come off a little arrogant, but you would be too if you was young, rich, and coming up out of the projects. I walked out of a juvenile detention center to millions of dollars. On the real, I'm feeling it's something God want to show me or want me to do because I'm steady going through the same things. Hopefully these lessons turn into blessings. I appreciate y'all. While expressing himself, he admitted that he somehow gets stuck in the same old traps, and that is partially due to his rough upbringing in Papano Beach. This may be the same reason that Kodak always carries what he calls a toolie on him. The firearms that he carries with him are not legal due to his active criminal cases. Kodak has been arrested on these weapon charges numerous times, but his sentencing was the most serious case he has faced. If the rapper has any more scuffles or bad behavior while serving his 46 months, he will easily get additional time slapped onto his sentence. Can Kodak serve 46 months without any other mishaps? Even if Kodak does stay out of trouble, we haven't even gotten to the worst of his legal battles. Let's not forget the rapper is still facing an active battery charge from back in 2016. Kodak made advances toward a teenage fan and tore off her clothes after his concert in Southern Carolina. He was arrested in February of 2016 for these criminal misconduct charges. This is a whole separate case that has yet to be resolved. Prosecutors say in South Carolina, a crime like this one could leave the rapper looking at up to 20 years in prison. This possible 20-year sentence makes his current 46-month sentence seem like a short time. The court date for his misconduct charge is still yet to be given, but it is pretty unfortunate that this could leave the rapper behind bars until he is 45 years old. Knowing that you might be in prison for almost half of your life would drive anyone crazy. This was not an easy battle that Kodak will be going through. The young rapper does have one of the best legal teams in the nation working on the case, and they are preparing to fight for the rapper when a court date is assigned for his other legal charges. Months before Kodak was arrested on his most recent charge, he was actually working towards bettering himself. The 22-year-old had gotten his GED during one of his previous sentencings and changed his legal name from Dusan Octave to Bill K. Capri to try to symbolize a fresh start. The last time he was released from prison, most fans believed that Kodak had changed and would finally stay out of trouble. We all hoped Kodak would stay focused on his music to keep himself busy. Kodak was working on what was one of the biggest albums yet. It included some exciting features, and fans were here for it. He had dropped his biggest album yet titled Dying to Live in December of 2018, which was about four months after he was released. The album did great and had multiple songs on the project that went platinum. Not to mention, this was Kodak's first project to reach the top number one spot on the US Billboard rankings, which is a huge accomplishment for the rapper. After releasing his album, 
Kodak started off 2019 strongly and was set to go on tour in March. At this point, Kodak was living his best life. He stayed active on his social media and was about to start making a lot of money on his tour. Everything was going smooth for him until he was arrested in April of this year while entering back into the States from Canada. U.S. Customs and Border Protection officers had arrested Kodak when they had found that he was storing a Glock firearm with him, and they also had found illegal narcotics in the vehicle. Kodak was taken to Niagara County Jail for these charges, the same charges he had faced multiple times in the past. Days after his arrest, Kodak had paid the $20,000 to $40,000 bail and was released from prison. Less than a month after his border incident, the FBI had arrested Kodak moments before he was set to perform at the Rolling Loud Festival. This is one of the biggest music festivals in the United States and happened to be in his home state of Florida. Before Kodak could get on stage, he had law enforcement arrest him after an extensive criminal investigation. A few of Kodak's illegal firearms could have possible connection to a few unsolved shooting incidents near the Miami area. Kodak has also previously lied on government documents in order to obtain multiple firearms. He had checked no on the form on the portion that asked if you have any active criminal records. Then he proceeded to purchase the illegal firearms. Authorities are still investigating these unsolved Miami shootings and will be reviewing the rapper's weapons to make sure they were the firearms used in these unsolved investigations. Everything had happened so quickly and has escalated just as quickly. Fans were upset that Kodak's tour was cut short because of his cases. And now, they're not sure if they will ever get to see the rapper perform. Kodak was arrested in May and has been in prison since then. After being sentenced to 46 months, it is safe to say it will be a long time before we get some new music from the young and talented artist. It is extremely tragic to see an amazing rapper like Kodak have his career cut short by his mistakes. We cannot say that this came by surprise given his extensive criminal history. Let's give you a quick idea how many times Kodak has had bad run-ins with the law. This started back in October 2015, which is one of the first times the rapper got into trouble for possession of narcotics, which was minor compared to the other allegations he was charged with that day. He also racked up charges for assault, robbery, kidnap, and driving with a suspended license. These were some pretty serious allegations for an 18-year-old to be facing. At the time, he didn't have much of a criminal history, so he was released on bond just shortly after. Just months after that, Kodak was arrested again on Christmas Day of 2015 for possession of paraphernalia. Then, in April of 2016, cops spotted Kodak purchasing narcotics. The rapper fled from the cops and threw his firearm in a dumpster, which was later recovered by law enforcement. The rapper was arrested multiple times on these charges in 2016 alone. After serving a few months, Kodak paid the $100,000 bond and was released in December of 2016. The rapper was glad to be free, and this was when he recorded his first debut album called Painting Pictures. The album did extremely well. The entire project went certified gold, which is pretty impressive for being his first debut album. Things were exciting at this stage of his career. But a few months later, the judge had deemed that Kodak had violated the terms of his house arrest four different times. This resulted in him being put behind bars again until June of 2017. When he was released in June, things were starting to quiet down again. He was doing okay at this point and seemed to be steering away from trouble. We thought 2018 would be a fresh slate for the rapper, as he was set to drop his second studio album at some point in the year. Less than a month into the new year, police were alerted to Kodak's Broward home after seeing some seriously incriminating things on the rapper's Instagram live feed. The rapper had narcotics laying around his home, as well as illegal firearms. This was all visible in his Instagram feed, in addition to his young son that was also present. Kodak was then arrested in his home for illegal possession of a firearm while being a felon, possession of narcotics, and child neglect. These were some serious charges. But Kodak's legal team was very strong and was able to get part of these charges dropped. They had claimed that the narcotics and firearms on site were being used as props. When you look at his history, Kodak was arrested more than five times just for possession of narcotics and illegal firearms. Why was it so hard for the rapper to stay away from these two things? Sometimes you can be your worst enemy. Kodak's potential was extremely high, and he always seemed to be in making headlines. But what's the point of making money and having your music go platinum if you cannot be free to enjoy the benefits of your labor? He is only 22 years old, and between all his criminal cases, he is looking at up to another 23 years in prison. 
It would be very difficult for him to find success in the music industry again after being incarcerated for two decades. We hope Kodak can make it through a sentence without getting injured in another fight or making a mistake that will again lengthen his sentence. What do you think will happen to the rapper while he's serving this case? Do you think he will somehow get lucky and have his 2016 misconduct allegations dropped? Tell us your opinion on Kodak's situation in the comments below. Also, don't forget to leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and comment the keywords free Kodak to enter a chance at winning our $100 Amazon gift card giveaway. See you next time!